Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Sea of Stars with me, Jalen on Lunar Nebula Gaming. So, today, we might be at the final boss of Averil. Though that seems unlikely, because we still haven't seen Erlina's new form, right? Hmm. You are going to meet with our great leader. I envy you. Uh, yeah, meet. Sure. Let's call it that. It's definitely not a greet. Hmm. Okay, nothing behind here. Hmm. I don't think we ever found a better weapon for best. Which feels bad, man. Because everybody else got a new weapon. Which makes me think that best's weapons are indeed the rainbow conch things, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. That I didn't look into. Hmm. Climbing the stairs. Man, Aferol. You've had elevators and stuff other places, right? Right? I mean, I guess he has had more stairs. Hmm. Well, I guess if he uses mostly flesh as his building block, that uh, might have trouble with elevation, I suppose. Hmm. But the gate was part cybernetics, so... Hmm. It feels like he could have made an elevator, but he wants people to freak out as they're going up the stairs, huh? Have time to be like, oh, I'm going to die, aren't I? Stuff like that. Hmm. I think we're pretty good. Let's dive in. And that looks like an eclipse about to happen. Hmm. You made it. Congratulations. You have been quite the nuisance. Prepare yourself. Prepare myself? <laughs> My foolish child. Fighting solstice warriors is beneath me. Dot, dot, dot. But you did make it all the way here. So I will play by the rules. The time has come to decide on the fate of your realm and all of its worlds. Can you defeat my strongest lieutenant? Or will she reign supreme over the Savaiborgs? Never. Your evil has no place here anymore. My, haven't we grown boastful? Let the matter be settled then. I call on you, my champion. Destroy these interlopers and claim your rightful place as ruler of this world. Come, Elisandrel. Okay. I'm guessing that's Erlina. Oh, goat feet. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't look very comfortable. Also, she probably doesn't like bright light anymore. Erlina. Dot dot dot. What have you become? Who dares challenge my reign? Don't you recognize us? I recognize Solstice Warrior Vermin. Vermin which must be eradicated. She's completely gone. Silence! You will bow before me! Brace yourselves. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's. Probably not a good sign. Or she is forcibly trying to make it easier for us to fight her or something. Hmm. Who knows? Oh. Magic. Hmm. I think we moonering. And then we'll switch to best. Oop. We're doing it. All right. I just kind of keep hearing her little being attacked sound effects. It's just like, okay, okay, yep. All right. Ooh. And some music. That's right. We are in business. Okay, Rashawn. I'm going to need you to do this for me. Yes. Okay. 
Now we get some more live mana and stuff. And some mana mana. Mana points, that is. Okay. Uh, Alright, good thing I did that. Uh, Rashawn. To Sarai for me. Good. We're very close to our third combo point. Hmm. I think I sunball to try to get it. Oh, not quite. Boom. Okay, what do I need to do here? I don't think I need a lunar shield. But that might... That might just get us more combo points anyway. So, we'll, we'll try. I don't need the healing. Okay. Maybe it's when the moon fully forms? Hmm. Alright. Give me some more mana. There we go. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I think it's always the same writing at the moment. That might change, though. Rashawn can use some HP. Hmm. I don't think we care to have Rashawn here, but you know what, Rashawn? Just get some more HP and mana and stuff. There we go, live mana, I should specify. Hmm. Actually, combo. We could try to get Moonshiv. I am curious, if I do Moonshiv right, can I do more than Conflagrate? There's no way, right? Hmm. It's supposed to be high damage versus one target, but... Eh. I don't think I try that this far into the game. I can Lunar Shield again. It's a minor waste of getting another one on Valir. Hmm. You know what? Conflagrate is just too good. I will boost it twice. Here we go. Your person that made your name far more difficult to pronounce. Oh my goodness, Conflagrate. Okay. That does not want to stick nearby. Okay. Well, 534 damage is not terrible. But I might practice with the Moon Shiv. See if we can't get a little bit more. Oh, oh, My sword boy. He can't do stuff at the moment. Uh, we could Lunar Shield. It's not a bad idea. Could ultimate. You know what? Yes. This way we disorient. We get some poison damage. And we get some healing. We don't need need it. I am hoping my timing is not terrible. Hmm. Can we just smack it? Okay. Alright, Zale. You know what to do. Impale. There we go. Alright then. Hmm. I'm gonna swap you to best. We're gonna elbow drop. Boing, boing, boom. Okay. Good damage. Hmm. I could Luna Shield, but once again, the leader doesn't need it. <laughs> Which makes it feel like, mm, do, I, do I need to? Do I really? Or do I just use the power of the sun for fun? That's right. Okay. Best get some more magic. There we go. No. I need more power. I need more! Okay, well. I mean, we can get you a battery. Oh, no. Hmm. That doesn't look comfortable. Oh dear. Yeah, it looks like uh, most of her limbs might not be attached. That can't be very good for you. Okay, we can only target the heart. Interesting, let's see what happens. Yeah, I lost my live mana, so I kind of want that back. Yeah, I lost my Lunar Shield? What? Lame. Uh, I could Lunar Shield, but I am curious what kind of damage we're looking at and stuff, so let's ignore that for now, which I might regret shortly. Ooh. Bigger rune. Ah! 
and it's a multi-strike. Okay, well now we know. Hmm, I'm not too concerned about that thing at the moment. Hmm. I don't want to really waste my mana. Okay, we'll just get some more live mana, see what happens. Okay, different hand. Hmm. Okay, we can Moonerang and then Solstice Strike. So let's do Moonerang first. So then we can get more mana back on both our characters. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad we got enough combo points for the Solstice Strike. I didn't even realize I was a little bit off there. Well, that's okay. We're gonna add some damage because we can. Solstice Strike. Ooh, good damage. Okay. Best, best buddy. Hmm. Yeah, a little elbow drop. Wow. Ah, what the? I got none of those action commands that time. Why did he go to the other side to elbow drop? That just threw me off. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Alright. Sun's out. Burn, baby, burn. Hmm. I could Luna Shield. I kind of want to for the healing. Alright, we're gonna try to wait for the sun to form underneath our feet. Or not sun, but yeah, that seems to be better when it's starting to form under your feet. I think that works. I could swap, but I have my Luna Shield, so eh. Punch time. It's not a punch out, unfortunately. It doesn't even matter, we don't have to block this, really. But I was prepared in case two hits happened and I still missed, huh? Okay. Hmm. So we can do three or discombobulate and disorientate. There we go. Then we moon around a little bit more. Okay. And then I might empower Zale's attack just for the damage. Because I have a couple... Yeah, I have enough of words. Okay. Give me that mana and damage. Ah. Zale, you're up again. Okay. I need the magic. And the damage. Hmm. I guess... How many orbs do I have? I'll do one more attack. Yeah, okay. Now we have all the live mana. Ooh, I don't think we can do that much arcane with... Hmm. Abance does three hits. Hmm. Arcane Barrage. That could work. Get some power at once. I just need to actually kick these correctly. <laughs> Can I? Okay. Missed one. That's okay. Did some decent damage as well. Let's save our ultimates. I don't need my shield yet. Okay. How much live mana do I have? Okay, we can get another one. Right? No, you lied to me. Okay. Yeah, I don't like it when they hover directly in front of each other. Hmm. I could do an ultimate, but I don't think I will. I think I just... I think I just punch you. Get some HP that way, too. Yeah. Get all of our MP back up on best. Okay, get ready. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, Sarai, you did not dodge well enough, but that's okay. I think I hit all those action commands and now it's still 60 damage. I could Luna Shield. But Belir don't need it. I'm going to empower you because I'm imagining we're doing a little bit more with our solstice damage. Our moon and our sun. I'd like to say that. Okay, wow. That was a lot of damage. Um, well, I do want to disorient you then. Hmm. That gets rid of two locks. We can then swap to Zale. Get this done. 
Hmm. Who would I like to... We don't need to heal if I switch Sarai out. Okay, let's do this so we can get some more health back and some more life mana. And Valir, we could do more stuff, but yeah. Let's just get up to like three combo points almost. Okay, and then our... Yeah, our Solstice Strike will do enough. I want to empower it a bit. Because we had three boosts. There we go. Still good damage, too. Hmm. I think I just elbow drop. Elbow drop. Okay. Boing. Boing. Oh! Lupident. Defeat Elisandarel. Ah! Okay. Instead of Lieutenant. Can we save her? My power. Master, you promised. I promised opportunity. Nothing more. Oh dear. Hey! Was that the puppet? Exclamation marks. They've won. It's time to leave, Averill. Oh, come on. I want to be there when they see the final surprise. What are you on about? <laughs> Ask your new guardian gods. Can you feel it? It's coming from so far away. A world eater. You are the only ones who can destroy it. Godspeed, Solon and Luana. He's really gone. We're free. Hope, it's been so long. You you heard about that world eater thing, right? Zael, Valir. We must go now, Sarai. The world eater has to be stopped. Will you return? Dot dot dot. We can feel everything now. There's just so much for us to do. So many worlds. I had no idea. This is goodbye then. I guess so, best. Thank. Wait! <sighs> Before you go, those stairs, could I just. Right. Okay. Oh! Their vestments are relics. Interesting. About their story? Hmm. It's been great knowing you. I'll make sure future generations know your story and remember you always. Yeah, their stories. Okay. It's been great knowing you as well, Teeks. Please, stay safe. It's not about us anymore. You take good care of yourselves and your people, okay? We'll do our best, in your memory. It's time to go, Valir. Dot dot dot. And so our watch begins. Here's hoping it won't be too boring. And that'd be a first. <laughs> hey, don't forget to visit whenever you fly by. You bet. Fighting by your side has been my life's honor. Farewell. See you, stars. Okay. Ah. So is this what the Dweller of Dread has become? That would make sense. Because he did say he'd modify it and stuff, right? My goodness. Yeah. For April. What is with you, man? You got problems. Oh! <laughs> it's a bullet hell sort of thing. Rah! Solstice magic power! Okay, so I have to click enter slash spacebar to shoot stuff. Can I get stronger shots somehow? 
I mean, even if not, oh yeah. First stage donezo. Oh, okay. So it's hitbox. Oh, wait. I can sort of bounce that boomerang thing. Super beam? Wait. Ah, I don't want to die. Okay. Super beam! <laughs> Take that. Okay. What about, uh... I'm sure Valir gets some super special thing, right? Two. So we are destroying some of the bullets. Interesting, interesting. I think I can just hold down the button. Yeah, I should have just been holding the button. Whee! That's right. Boomerang, I have defeated you. Okay. What about over here? Rawr! Okay, we can do another super beam, but we're so close to beating this one. I think we save it for the final. That's right. World Eater! Prepare for doom. Boom. Okay, that wasn't quite enough. Uh... <laughs> that was about half the health bar, though. Oh, it's a giant hitbox. That's nice. I can dodge pretty well and still hit. Wee. Wee. Ah. Okay, nope. Too close. There we go. Whew. Glad I had all that health in there. World Eater! Defeat him! Excellent. Okay, so I'm guessing that wasn't the true ending, though, was it? Hmm. Because I have a feeling we can beat up A for all, if it's the true ending. Hmm. Curious. Still, very good game. But yeah, I, I want to go back, find the true ending. I will probably just look it up. Okay, then. Man, so much good work done on this game. The ending did feel a bit abrupt, so I, I just feel like probably the true ending will make that less abrupt. Yeah. Pacing-wise, the game was very good in terms of you finding new ways to explore the world and get power-ups and new skills and equipment. And it also did a good job of not, like, overloading you on skills. So, yeah. It felt like your skills could be useful throughout the game, pretty much. Uh, that said, I pretty much never used Ebb, I think it was, on Rashawn to do two random locks. I think if it had done three, I might have been more likely to care. But if you had the live mana boosts and things like that, it pretty much never mattered enough. Unless maybe you can do more locks by hitting in the action command more? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I ever did it more than once, so maybe there's a hidden feature of that ability. Yeah. Man. Good game. I have loved it. Oh, it <laughs> they did a great job on various moments of just feeling like a grand adventure. And Garl, one of my favorite characters in gaming now. Best, on the other hand, I felt like because they spent so much time with Garl, and to keep the pacing good, they didn't do too much with Best's character, right? He was basically there to just fill out the roster and be a cool character. Which, fair enough. Also, they have a Best Boy buddy. Okay, then. And Conan. What a production baby name. Man. Hope he doesn't become a barbarian. Ah. Ooh. Here we go. Epilogues for all the characters. <laughs> oh, the mayor still uh, doesn't quite get rocky, it seems. Oh, man. Oh, but this has been a grand experience. And, yeah, I know it's not on camera or anything, but my jaw did drop when we entered that warp speed with the Vesper team in the Sea of Stars. That was just amazing. Amazing. And I love how... They made it so you didn't have to necessarily find all the relics to figure some stuff out. 
about the game, but doing that gave you some more background story on the lore surrounding the worlds and everything, like uh, the Vampire Rose. And then we learned about 1, 2, 3, and 4 using that. So, yeah. <laughs> Which reminds me, I think 1, 2, 3, and 4 were supposed to be combined with the Dweller of Dread, and that made the World Eater, right? So, I guess we got to say goodbye to them with a bang. A boom. Kapow. You know, other sound effects. So, that was pretty cool. I like it. Oh, man. Sea of Stars. If you like classic RPGs like Proto Trigger, the Mario RPG, or Paper Mario, with action commands, I, I really think people will love this game. Is there anything else to say than that? <laughs> I did like the twist with Sarai. They pulled the whole you think you understand the twist before it happens, which is why it's a cliche. And then they pull another twist of revealing under the ninja mask, she's a cyborg. That was fantastic. Whoever came up with that, good job, good job. Oh man. Well, I'm gonna keep watching these credits. And there'll probably be more scenes like the one with Malcolm, right? I'm guessing. Hmm. But maybe not. A bright light doth shine. Oh? Uh, Yomara, I think, right? Okay. <laughs> that was a pretty short cutscene. Just like, yeah, whatever. Stuff happened. I'm still here. That seems to fit her personality pretty well. I wonder if I click enter. Oh, okay. We can super speed it. You yeah. know. But still, look at how many people made this game work. You know, it, it took a team, that's for sure. And there's moderators on the Discord and additional support. Phew. Took more of an army than a team, I guess you could say. All right, Valir's little moonlight star. <laughs> Aw, jumping for joy. <laughs> and he goes back to napping. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll chase after you. What a good sport. Shout out to our colleagues. Aw. And special thanks. Yeah. Man. These must be a lot of patrons, too. Oh, is this April or Roshan, I wonder? Hmm. Of course, the Necromancer's back in action. Clearly has anger management problems. Top backers? Uh -huh. Wow. And I bet there is a statue for each of these in that amazing hall of monuments. It's like, they put a ton of work into that. Even if they had to like rush some of those designs, they still made designs for pretty much everybody as far as I could tell. Which was an incredible amount of work. I mean, even if they had to like click a button just once for each one, that would be thousands of times. And I'm pretty sure they didn't just click a button. Pretty sure they put effort into everything into that man. Okay, purple star. I'm guessing this is Rashawn. The red one was Aferol. Hmm. Elder Mist. And best. Hmm. <laughs> I guess he wants to do the trials. Okay, we can do ultra speed or super speed. So ultra speed is space bar and period. Oh, wow. Wow. So many people believed in this project. That's great. 
Wow. <laughs> Warp speed. Green star, I'm guessing Sarai. Oh, okay, so it was probably... Hmm. Was best the purple star? <laughs> Hanging out with her friends. That's good. Backers. And I think they're alphabetical. Which makes perfect sense if you had like a big Excel file or something for all these. It's like... <sighs> Man. Yeah. E-F-G-H-I-J-K... Not yet. No? Mm -hmm. Okay... The Artifact AI. And Kale. Part of any balanced diet. Yeah, and it's continued. Oh, J K L M N O P R S T V W. Okay. Hmm. Carl. Oh, we miss you, buddy. And thank you for playing. Heart, heart, heart. <laughs> Well, thank you for making a great game. And for all the people who believed in it. Because I have really enjoyed Sea of Stars. Back to Mirth, huh? And so we gather each year as they fly by our world on their never-ending watch, and together we remember their story. Hi, Sage. Yes? Is it true they always fly in on the warrior cook's birthday? No one knows for sure. Sounds rather poetic, though, doesn't it? Now run along, everyone. I must check in on the crypt's renovations. Thank you for the story, Ice Age. Aww. So, wait. Why wouldn't she know for sure? That's my question. <laughs> oh. Is there some mystery in the crypt? How's the progress? Pretty good. I've been thinking about Yomara's notes. You know, about the flood. No worries, I'll make the big window extra thick. Well, do you like the central piece? Yes, it's perfect. The end question mark. Oh, ma'am. Okay, so I think I've got to make another episode to figure out true ending stuff. Maybe get all the rainbow conches. I might do that kind of off screen. We'll see. The Moor Lens. Okay. So I remember these mysterious devices appeared in the Moor Lens. Is it like New Game Plus? You can now save and return right before the final boss fight to complete side content. The mysterious device might also be worth investigating. Well, yes. Okay, uh, let's go to slot six. Man, and so this has been 40 hours already, and that's a very good game time. And yeah, I, I want to play some more. So, <laughs> well, dear viewer, I will be back in... Actually, wait. Okay, let's just exit the save game menu, see what happens. What happens? Where will it transport me to? Okay, right back here. Well, dear viewer, that has been Sea of Stars, an ending, but is it the true one? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more, and have a great day.